this video so we will be looking at the same problem but this time the methodology is trying to solve the same problem using mesh analysis okay so in mesh analysis we predominantly identify loops and then use kcl and we conserve the voltages across the loop okay right but in this problem uh, like we can see there are some current sources also okay so when there are some current sources in a problem and we are trying to do mesh analysis uh, it is uh, a bit tricky but it is very easy so let us uh, look how we can go about solving the problem okay now i'll start labeling all the branch currents like i have done in the previous problem okay so let me name this uh, i1 remember the objective is to uh, capture the current through the 7 ohm resistor okay so let me name this i1 and uh, let me name this the current through the 3 ohm resistor as i2 okay let me label the current through the 1 ohm resistor as i3 and uh, finally the current through this 2 ohm resistor i shall label it as i4 okay so when we are trying to do mesh analysis and we have some current sources in the problem it is better to go with kcl first okay so in this problem we have a current source here and it is better to identify the currents uh, or it is better to identify the node that this current source is feeding and then write down the kcl over there okay so now i am writing kcl at this node so what do i get like kcl states the entering currents is equal to leaving current so the node the currents entering this node are this 2 amp source and i1 so this is nothing but if i put kcl at a node uh, let me label this uh, like in the previous problem let me label this b let me label this c okay at b the currents entering are i1 and 2 so it forms the left hand side and on the right hand side i have the current that is going out of that node which is i2 that i have labeled here okay now at node c let me write the same case here at node c okay so the entering currents into node c are i3 and i2 so my left hand side becomes i2 plus i3 and the leaving current and the leaving current at node c is i4 so this becomes i4 so whenever you are trying to do mesh analysis and you encounter uh, a current source first it's better to write down the kcl kcls at all the nodes okay this will simplify further as we see okay now since it is mesh analysis we'll identify loops so this one here is a loop okay so let me try and write kvl for this loop okay so how do i write kvl i start at a node and i end at the same node without any other node repeating itself more than once except for the starting node okay so in this node if i write down uh, kvl so it becomes so the drop across this thing is of course i3 sorry uh, this is kvl okay and if i go in the clockwise direction okay i encounter this 3 ohm resistor but i am going in the clockwise direction and this branch current is in the opposite direction so this is minus 3 i2 and this loop I proceed in the same clockwise direction now I encounter an I1 current coming in the opposite direction so this is nothing but minus 7 I1 so the sum of all voltages across a loop is equal to 0 so that is what K K KVL states so so if I name this as loop 1 and I put a KVL at loop 1 so KVL in loop 1 this is what I get KVL But uh, if I observe carefully, I do have an expression for I2 from this equation. So I'll plug the expression for y I2 in this and let me rewrite. So this is what I do get now. So this will result in I3 minus 3 times I2 is nothing but I1 plus 2 minus 7 into I1 is equal to 0. So after rearranging and doing some algebra, so this is what I get uh, I3 minus 10 I1 is 
is equal to 6. So I'll name this as equation 1 and I'll keep it aside for now. Okay. Yeah. Now, so in mesh analysis, while we are trying to write KVL in a loop, it is always advisable to choose loops such that the loops do not have any current source. So if I am trying to put KVL in this loop, I encounter this current source and I have to assume a voltage assume a voltage for this across this current source which I do not have and uh, I need to somehow write one more equation and eliminate that uh, voltage or rather we can intelligently choose loops such that we can eliminate the cur uh, current sources so if I start here and if I choose my loop to be this one okay so I start here I traverse through this 7 ohm, then I traverse through this 3 ohm, then the 2 ohm resistor, and then the 1 volt voltage source. I come back this point. That is also a loop. That fits the de definition of my loop. Okay, so that should also be valid, isn't it? So in this loop, I am cleverly avoiding this 2 amps current source. Okay, so let me write the KVL in the loop that I have just told. Okay, so I start at this point. So the voltage drop across the 7 ohm resistor would be 7 times I1 so I traverse through the 3 ohm resistor so the voltage drop across this thing will be 3 I2 7 I1 plus 3 I2 now I traverse through this 2 ohm resistor okay so the drop across that would be 2 I4 now I go through this independent voltage source so I encounter this negative polarity so minus 1 so this is 1 volt because it is 1 volt is equal to 0 okay from this equation we do have an expression for i2 i will plug in the same over here and from this kcl i do have an expression for i4 i will plug the same here okay now rearranging the terms what do i have i have something like this so this is nothing but 7 i1 plus 3 into i2 is nothing but i1 plus 2 from that equation is i1 plus 2 plus 2 into what is i4 i4 is nothing but i2 plus i3 from this equation okay so this is nothing but i2 plus i3 minus 1 is equal to 0 this is i2 okay again this is i2 for which we do have a relation that is i1 plus 2 okay I will rearrange these terms after some algebra what do I have so I have something like this 7 I1 plus 3 I1 plus 6 plus 2 into what is I2 I2 is nothing but I1 plus 2 so this is nothing but I1 plus 2 plus I3 minus 1 is equal to 0 now I will rearrange the terms again and if I do some algebra for few minutes this is where I end up so if I rearrange all the above terms this is where I end up I end up with 6i plus i3 is equal to minus 4.5 <coughs> excuse me okay so this is another I will label it as equation 2 See, equation 1 is an expression in I1 and I3 and equation 2 is also an expression in I1 and I3. I, so, I have two equations and two unknowns. If I solve for it, uh, I'd get the value for uh, I1 and I3. So, let me solve these uh, two simultaneous equations here. One is I3 minus 10 I1 is equal to 6. Mm, the other is I3 plus... 6 i1 is equal to minus 4.5 okay now i'll subtract these two so this is minus minus and this becomes plus so these two get cancelled so what do i have so i have minus 16 i1 is equal to mm, 10.5 so if i solve for i1 which is what is my objective so i am solving for i1 so what do I get 10.5 divided by 
sorry this is minus 10.5 divided by 16 which is of course equal to minus 656.2 milliamps so this is what we got e uh, the answer even using the uh, nodal analysis so we get the same using mesh analysis as well uh, this is a good problem because mesh analysis and uh, current sources if there are current sources present in uh, mesh analysis and you, you want to do mesh analysis so it's better first to write KCLs and then uh, write KVLs in loops intelligently avoiding any current sources that are present okay so that would uh, give us answer in uh, two or three steps thank you